Aloha friends! So here is a quick and simple recipe to give to the kiddos um, tonight. So they're wanting some dessert. And it's a different version of the, the Rice Krispie Treats. Um, this time we're adding some chocolates into it. And this is the recipe that I got from my mom um, back when I was um, a little... Yeah. Aloha friends! I am making a quick and simple treat for the kids tonight. Um, this is a recipe that I got from my mom. She used to make this when we were little, when my sisters and I were younger. And also she would um, make this to give us a care package to my dad when he was in the Navy and um, away on Westpac. And Westpac is basically, he's away from, uh, from home. So he would be stationed somewhere and my mom would um, give him care packages. So this recipe is basically just um, the same recipe with the um, original Rice Krispie treats with Kellogg's, which is um, uh, one bag of marshmallow, either the large ones or about four, four cups of the small ones, and six cups of the Rice Krispie treats, and then about uh, three tablespoons of butter. But this time with this recipe, I am going to use um, six cups of Rice Krispie Treats, one, one full bag of uh, miniature um, marshmallows, and then I'm adding some chocolate um, chips in here. So this is my semi-sweet um, chocolate chips, and this is my leftover dark chocolate um, Gerald Deli morsels. So I'm gonna add that in there and I'm just gonna mix it up. My butter, three tablespoons of butter is already being melted, so here it is. Careful, Danny, it's hot. And you gotta be careful because when you're putting it in a double broiler, I don't know if you guys can see the steam, uh, make sure that you have a pot holder because the water is really um, boiling. So my butter is already melting. And all I'm gonna do, Danielle, wanna help me? Can I help you too? Go get the, um, the chocolate chips for me and then just put it in here. Be careful because this is hot, okay? So there you go. Thank you. Oh, careful. So the kids are eager to help because of course it has chocolate and it has sweet. Don't touch, okay, because it's very hot. So I'm going to let this melt. And once it melts, then we're going to add in our marshmallow. So give that a few minutes. The good thing about this um, recipe is that if you wanted to change it up a bit, you can. Like I said, this is... Um, this is an original Rice Krispies uh, recipe, but I'm adding some chocolate um, chocolate morsels in here, some dark chocolate chips, and then also some semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then also I added uh, just a little bit more butter, so it's just going to be a total of one stick butter, because the kids were saying that they wanted to pack it up for school with their friends. So I just added um, another quarter cup of chocolate chips in here, and then the um, one whole stick of butter, and then I'm going to add... Um, probably two more cups of the Rice Krispie Treats and then the whole bag of the, the miniature marshmallow. And so I'm just eyeballing it and the good thing about this recipe, like I was saying, is that it doesn't, um, it doesn't have to be an exact, um, exact ingredients. So now as you guys can see, my, my chocolate has melted and my additional butter that I added in there has also melted. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my... Um, marshmallows in here and I'm gonna have Jonathan help me out so Jonathan want to help me out all right here's Jonathan we opened up our marshmallow go ahead and dump the whole thing in there bud like the whole thing mm-hmm just the whole thing okay. there and then we're gonna mix this together and let it melt and then once it melts we can go ahead and add the the rice um, the rice krispies that's it. That's how simple it is. And it's yummy. The marshmallows are melting really nicely, so it's almost ready for the Rice Krispie Treats. The chocolate has fully melted, so it's nice and smooth looking now. Now I'm going to have uh, Miss Danielle pour in four cups of the... Rice Krispie Treats, or just the Rice rice Krispies. Four cups of the Rice Krispies. Okay, go ahead, Miss Danielle. 
Here we go. Now go ahead and pour about another four cups in there. Okay. Yeah, another, because we added extra butter and extra chocolate. Basically just mixing it all together. Okay, I've been stirring this up for a while and um and once you let it sit, it does harden up a bit. Guys, here it is. So here are the chocolate uh, rice krispies and all I did was um put it into a cookie sheet. I lined it up with a wax paper. Your hands just wash really well. And all I did is just get a basically a handful and I smushed it. And then Placed it in to the cookie sheet and then just so that it's not a perfect round shape. So basically just um, smoosh it down a bit. And again, um, a handful and like squeeze it into a ball just a little bit. And then when you place it down and so that it doesn't stay like um, rounded, basically squish it down so that it has some, some shape to it like that. Go ahead and keep doing this until... Um, it's all done and pretty simple process and here it is look at all that goodness so the good thing about this um, recipe is that it is so simple so easy to make basic ingredients and it's perfect for bake sales at school it's perfect to um, to pack for loved ones if they're in college or away from home. All you need to do once it's set like this is just leave it out for about 15-20 minutes and then put it into an airtight container and it lasts for a couple of days. So, Love. Thank you guys for watching and again as always, mahalo.